I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my... Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man of the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the others. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, the ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know. Attention Dunwall citizens. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be hired. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just... You know, looking through the lock. I realize, well, everything you're thinking I already realize. I'm a natural philosopher, but that doesn't mean I'm not a gentleman, or I try to be. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? I could use a King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can't tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, 
She still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which boil she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate? Tonight? The timing is perfect with Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out, in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself, and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I knew Sokolov would see reason and tell us what we did. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with a cloak of quality. Better you than me. Is that what you dreamed of, all those months in Coldridge prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine? And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.
stopped singing as they passed, and... And they thought she was a witch. You should have seen it. Ran right through the rose bushes and tackled her. Dragged her back to that abbey. And they call us stupid. We had to get a notarized letter from the regent himself to get her back. But she hasn't been the same since. I'm not surprised. I've heard stories. She won't talk about it. One of these days I'm gonna take one of those zealots apart myself. I'll be right behind you. What was that?
you couldn't stand the party either. The party's indoors this time. Another party game. It was fun for a season, but now... What is it tonight? Guess which is which. Their hair and makeup are identical. But one's in red, one's in black, one's in white. There's a prize at the end. The foil. As if they don't get enough. <coughs> Does the business bedroom have a balcony? If you could get up there, I bet you could find something. More likely, I'd end up in Cold Ridge Prison. The City Watch is everywhere tonight. But at least you're thinking. There must be another way. Waverly might. Hello. The Boyles hope you have a wonderful time tonight. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs, and the man on duty is an ass. I should have taught him some manners. This party... Sham. I'm sure he's just doing his job. A party like this, anyone might have crept in. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. Of course I Did you hear you. about Mrs. Brinsley? You'll never the boys believe are us. What is it now? She had her job yes, pick up a boy nice. in the street. Barely 16 years old. No family there. The I thought her interest was well, confined never to her family. I think she ran out of family a while ago. What's it all about? And how do you know this? My servants heard it from hers, naturally. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Or else, I heard she bathed in her own nephew's blood. Ridiculous. What sort of hygiene is that? It's a ritual for the outsider. To keep them safe. Emma. You could get her sent to the Abbey. Nobody that rich gets sent anywhere they... No weapons at the party. Put it away, sir. I know your mission tonight. We must speak. Privately. Evening, sir. See this as an opportunity. Scary mask. Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. I had a servant sew me an extra pocket. Indeed. Oh, did you hear the if banner? If you want to be clean, hold on. Something about a deal with Hello, Barrister sir. Arnold Timsh. I need that prize. If I could get upstairs, one of them must have left traces. No guests past this point.
welcome to the party. Doing all right there? You look like you're up to no good. Put that away and leave, or I'll have you put down. Are you trying to guess which one is which? I was thinking of sneaking upstairs Hello, to sir. Sir Clues. Oh, but that's a cheating. You need to stop right now. Sir, I know these are dangerous. Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, really? Who am I then? Oh, really? Where would you like to take me? That sounds lovely. Why don't you come with me? Try Miss White in the moth mask. I hear she's lonely. Anything you need, sir. Is it true what that most people don't remember is it's been taken the rats came a half a year before the star died? And the plague, too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember. If something caused this, it's not the Empress's passing. Excuse me a moment. You there, stop that.
You know, I have a dirty little secret. Things are you bad. can't imagine who I'm worse. seeing. I Never mean, done. if people only knew. But I'm only doing it to ensure the family name. It's too dangerous right now not to have proper connections. Truthfully, if I could get free of him, I would. You're more my type. Mysterious, silent, self-composed. I do believe this is going to be a fabulous evening. Well, here we are. What shall we do with our set? you enjoyed your evening, sir. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. Unless you the only like one holding this together. Watch. You may step back, sir. I don't believe we're quite Welcome to my party. I don't believe you've had the pleasure. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Doing all right, then. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. Enjoy. We found out what the whales could do when it made us an empire. This is the beginning of a golden age. Excuse me. Weapon part of the costume. Who are you? <clears throat> Enjoying yourself? You remember who's who, don't you? 
seem interested. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in red tonight. That wanton thing. Additionally, Lydia's in white. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. Please move along. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. What was that? <clears throat> Someone's supposed to be on duty over here.
this party goes wrong, it's on both of our heads. What the? I know you're here! Let's be on our way. Quickly. Pendleton said he would meet us here. I checked the wine cellar. Losing family gives a man a thirst. 